Welcome to District Dialogue, Commissioner Mitchell. Now we got a great day today. You got to be entertained, and we're going to talk a lot about the Highway 92 bypass. We're going to talk about the truck routes. There's a lot going on in Douglasville and Douglas County that I think you need to know about. So once again, welcome to District Dialogue. I've got two outstanding guests. Now these guests are the ones who come from DGDOT, who will kind of explain the whole GDOT angle of this Highway 92 bypass and the truck routes. Also, we've got our director of transportation who will enlighten us from a, from a county perspective of what that all is. So before we get started, why don't you guys introduce yourself so uh, the uh, community and those here taking time watching uh, District Dialogue can kind of understand kind of your role and what you do here at GDOT. So. Okay. Well, my name is Langston Johnson. Okay. Um, I'm the area manager for GDOT. Okay. Uh, I'm serving South Fulton, Douglas, okay. and Fulton counties. Uh, my role is over construction and maintenance for all those counties. Okay. Uh, I've been here for 15 years. Okay. okay. So uh, I have a little experience mm -hmm. um, trying to get things done here within um, in within GDOT. So, like I said, I'm here to serve the community and help out any way I can. So, so you, you, you're kind of that regional guy that kind of covers a couple of uh, areas to include Douglas County, correct? Yes, sir. Got okay. it. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Got it. Got it. How long have you been with GDOT, though? I said 15, 15 and a half years. 15 and a half years? Yes, sir. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Okay. You got some tenure there. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm Miguel Valentin, the Director of Transportation uh, for the county. Mm -hmm. And I've been with the county a little over six months. Mm -hmm. However, I've been in the industry over 35 years doing very similar things, public right. works, engineering. So uh, when we went out and researched and found you, we found the best. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> we found that. the best. So mm -hmm. congratulations and thank you for, you know, becoming a part of the Douglas County makeup and when it comes to transportation, all those great things. So let's jump right in. Let's jump in and, and, and let's start about, you know, it's all about everybody's asking questions about the Highway 92 bypass. Yes, sir. They want to know all what's going on. Uh, kind of when is it going to all end and when we'll be on the roads having fun and all that kind of good stuff. So I don't know who want to jump out there and start with that part of the question and, and just enlighten us, the District Dialogue fans, of where we are. Well, tentative, we, we are trying to get done by um, November of 2020, okay. as of now. Um, as you know, we're th this bypass is a relocation and grade separation of 92 and mm -hmm. State Route uh, 5, which is Highway 78. Right. Uh, this is the this is the improved grade crossing yes. um, at at the railroad crossing. Mm -hmm. um, you will have better pedestrian, less less uh, stop traffic from even trying to get across the track. Yeah. So that was the main and objectives. So many, and Ooh. so many in intersections. Because right now you have about three intersections of right. track of of grade crossings. Understood. Well, they will break this down to only one crossing. Right. And that mm -hmm. way the traffic can keep going. Lessing your truck traffic through that right now. As I've been here in Douglas County riding mm -hmm. the routes, it does get some congested at times. Yes. So yes. this will eliminate a lot. It will eliminate the, the possibility of wrecks or trains and a colliding, better signalization, mm -hmm. um, raised median so mm -hmm. cars won't cross over and hit each other. Mm -hmm. Again, better uh, for pedestrians to walk because you have a lot of uh, restaurants that people walk to over here. Well, well, let me give you the history. Now, you may know this, but early 2000, myself and Mayor Robinson went to Washington along with a, a cast members of a lot of Douglas Villians mm -hmm. and working on this particular project and got a lot of support from our Federal Highway Commission to include Congressman Scott and others to mm -hmm. kind of get this project off and on the way, which we're proud to have in Douglas County. Mm -hmm. And the way we probably pull, the way I think we pulled it off was because we made it, we made it a safety issue and we made it regional. Mm -hmm. So as we all know, it goes all the way into Paulding County. And speaking correct. of Paulding mm -hmm. County, we actually did a, a groundbreaking mm -hmm. a few months ago, correct? That, that is correct. Mm -hmm. uh, because the, the section that uh, we're discussing today that's more immediate to the county right. is uh, phase three, but phase four is mm -hmm. the one that the groundbreaking occurred about a month ago, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it takes it w deep into Poland County, and that goes to the regional nature of this right. improvement. Right, right, right. right. And, and, and with that being said, that's kind of how this whole project, Highway 92 Bypass, came to fruition mm -hmm. by just taking that path uh, and, and getting some support from our federal guys and state guys and so on and so forth. Okay, but yes, so the, the, the bypass, uh, looking good. You're saying November 2020 is a yes, sir. A, a good <laughs> date that we can kind of lean on because now the word on the street is that <laughs> this thing is somewhere between three to five years off. You know, don't know why, and I, I don't even know where that came from. Help, help, help us to I understand. I don't know either. Dad. Like I say, <laughs> we, we're, we're not trying to impact it. We know that it's, right now it's, it's, um, it's impacting y'all. Uh, a lot of people are impatient yes. right now. Yes. But 
if they can just be patient. Okay. And, and like I said, we've been stretched out for it. I know we're going to talk more about what has happened and concerns that we have for us building the project and right. the uh, obstacles we have faced. Right. Um, right. But, but like I said, that is a good tentative date, and we, we're looking to make that date to, to finish everything. Good, good, good. And, and what phase, where are we now in what phase, I guess? We're in phase what now, and, and, and what phase comes next, and so on and so forth. So where are well, we? Well, we're, we're developing phase three mm -hmm. uh, more closer to the railroad. Mm -hmm. And uh, within phase three, there are several segments of the road mm -hmm. construction that already have progressed well beyond the issue with, with the railroad. Mm -hmm. uh, the problem is getting that great separation and uh, the coordination with the railroad, and, and that's what's triggering the, mm -hmm. the issue with the detour route. Got it, got mm -hmm. it. And, and, and let's kind of dive into the detour. Mm -hmm. We understand that the Highway 92 bypass, um, with closing down a couple of the uh, crossings, mm -hmm. yes, and some of those crossings had uh, to deal with a couple of truck routes Correct. that Correct. we encountered. So let's talk about those alternate routes that we're doing for possibly two years or help me out with that so yeah essentially what what's happening is with the closure of the mosley street mm -hmm. uh, crossing mm -hmm. uh, that was the original route mm -hmm. uh, for trucks correct and mm -hmm. now we have to find an alternate route and mm -hmm. so uh, g dot and the county and the city have looked at the options that might be available mm -hmm. now at the moment uh, g dot has established a, an overall uh, default route on right. state routes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, but that is quite lengthy, mm -hmm. you know. So uh, trucks, not all uh, drivers are following that route. Some of them are certainly mm -hmm. cutting mm -hmm. through the neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. And what we want to do is uh, look at the possibility of having a designated, more localized route mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that uh, we can uh, mm -hmm. get truck traffic and vehicular traffic to follow a mm -hmm. certain path so we can monitor uh, the location where trucks go right. and right. Uh, be able to determine where, when they go off of that path that they're not supposed to be there and take, take So let, let's talk reaction. about those alternate or detours, the two, the, the two routes that we came up with. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it have uh, G GDOT or anybody uh, approved, or we haven't even approved it on our end as yeah, of but we're getting through that process. Because but, it is. But be go ahead. Because it is a local route, mm -hmm. uh, GDOT has uh, reviewed options and proposed mm -hmm. certain routes, uh, but it would have to be approved at the local level. And so one of those routes, one of the options, mm -hmm. is the uh, mostly, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, Malone Street mm -hmm. route. Mm -hmm. uh, and that has some benefits to it, being that it has signalized, uh, I'm sorry, it has a signalized uh, Cross. I'm sorry, it does not have a signal at Malone, but, they, but GDA has indicated that they would be willing to yeah. install a signal. Understood. So it's a, a closer route mm -hmm. to the area, uh, less distance traveled, uh, but it has to be prepared to be mm -hmm. able to handle a truck traffic. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, uh, the other option route, the Maroney Mill route, mm -hmm. that has signals at both ends. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, Certainly, both of them have to go through neighborhoods, uh, and they will impact the yes. uh, residents in the area. There's no question about that. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, in all the routes, all the options that we've looked at, mm -hmm. and GDOT, mm -hmm. there, re there really hasn't been a, you know, a, a route that we can say, okay, if we if we funnel traffic through here, mm -hmm. there's not going to be as much impact as if we do it elsewhere. Uh, there is no good ideal route, uh, but we have to be able to... Well, it has uh, to be safe. The, the route has right. to be mm -hmm. safe, especially for not only residents or citizens, yet along the truckers as well. And I think you and I had uh, a conversation about one of the routes, which included a piece of Huey. Correct. Correct. That so, was, yes, that was kind of a little interesting, that little... That job. Yeah, job. yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yes, that, that mm -hmm. kind of made me a little nervous even in that, considering that route, but go ahead. And and, and we did, and, uh, to Miguel, what he was saying, um, we did, we took a truck through both routes. Got it. That's what we did. We we, okay. we drove, I was there mm -hmm. driving behind the truck to see Thank how, can, so we took the uh, Maroney Mill um, and um, we were from um, Maroney a, Mill and um, but the second option. Which is which uh, is industrial? Yeah, well, first that's the first option, industrial to uh, uh, Huey to Hickory. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, that's what I'm sorry. Right. Yeah. 
yeah, North Burn Hickory to Moroni Mill. We okay. took that. And that's an easier route. We rode that route, mm -hmm. but again, mm -hmm. we knew we were going through mm -hmm. neighborhoods. Understood. You know, mm -hmm. uh, but that wasn't for trucks. It was an easy route. Mm -hmm. You know, no turns. Anything right. Like that. Just right. going straight. You know, and then except you when you got to 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 Huey. Well, that's not now. Huey's that's the second all. one. That's okay, the second one. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm, I'm ahead of myself. Right, <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm, I'm talking about that one no, in a minute. Okay, okay. Uh, but yeah, so we rode that route. Yes, it was easier for trucks. Uh, so it'll uh, be easier. But again, that's more residential. A lot more residential. Uh, but so that's the that's the first route. Yeah, that was okay. we took the that, one that we, we talked about. Okay, at. got mm -hmm. it. Now the second route again, when we talk about industrial uh, industrial and going to Malone, uh, Malone, Malone, yeah, Malone Industrial, mm -hmm. and going through the little Huey, jog through that, Huey. Yeah, we yeah. took, we took, and we took a truck through there okay. as well. Okay. Um, and that was that little jog was interesting, but we took a transfer truck through it, and what it seemed it? to make it. But uh, there is a. a um, Correct me if I'm wrong, Miguel. Mm -hmm. There's a there's a, a business that's a trucking business, and I can't think of what that that trucking business that sits right off of, of Huey. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the exact. I don't. I know the one you're talking yes, about. Right. I right. can't remember the name. Right, but, right, right. but you're correct. Yeah. Okay. So so there is some truck trafficking yes. that goes through that route. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. route. However, I agree the the Huey piece, which is a small sliver. Right. Yes, sir. That concerns me, and, mm -hmm. it, and it makes me more concerned um, from a safety perspective because I'm saying if, if an 18 wheeler go through that little Huey piece, then he or she will can only go at one truck at a time. You couldn't put two 18 wheelers to make that little twist or turn. I don't know, but I'm not the expert. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I believe you guys can yeah. tell me whether or not that's doable. Well, the, the lanes are wide enough to do it. Mm -hmm. um, they, that's 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 not a problem. But we did okay, check the okay. lanes, and but like I said, we also offered that we're going to maintain the road as well. Understood. You know, so we and, and we're going do a better uh, signage as well to get people across because that little jog can't confuse yeah. people that may be coming from yes. Illinois or something yes. like that. You yes. know, so yes. we want to make sure. understand that. Yeah, they understand that a little, little jog. They right, could right, go right. a different right, route. So right. we're going to make sure that the, that the signage is there for the trucks to get through just to get to Malone. And also add, yes, we are trying to add, we are going to add a signal at Malone at 92 Got to it. make sure that the truck, the traffic can keep going and keep Got going. you. Got you. Yeah. So, so let's for clarity, mm -hmm. for those who are watching District Dialogue today. Mm -hmm. So for clarity, let, let's walk through the routes because I think we're going to have some drones that will kind of give you a, okay. an, a, an ideal makeup. So can we just walk through the routes once again? The first route, which will be the Burnt Hickory. The mm -hmm. second route, which will include Huey and uh, Malone. Who wants to jump? Uh, well, the, the, uh, the These are first proposed. Route. Yes, the, 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 proposed. One, the, the, the first proposed route was from 78 going up north Burnt Hickory mm -hmm. to Moroni Mill, mm -hmm. making a left turn, and then following Moroni Mill to 92 on right. the other side. Right. Of course, right. if you're coming the other way, you do the reverse. reverse. Yeah. That's correct. That's, That's correct. And, 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 and we had a lot of conversation about that particular route. Mm -hmm. Correct. And now this, the, the alternate route, or the, the alternate proposed route is? Uh, the, the, uh, the alternate route follows industrial access to Malone, to a section of Huey mm -hmm. out back to Malone on the other side to 92. That's correct. That's mm -hmm. correct. Um, now, let's pose this to GDOT. So both routes are possibilities mm -hmm. if, the, uh, if the Board of Commissioners decides either or. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I mentioned to Miguel, and, and I'm not putting you on the spot, so don't, you don't have to answer or say yeah or nay to that, but have we considered using both as alternatives or we guess only have a shot at either one or the other or would that be so confusing to truckers to do either or or would it be too expensive for GDOT to say come back and repave those streets after two years only to find that they really got torn up so well to, I would think to get that that option of both okay would be a lot you okay. know I ain't saying I don't know for us money wise okay. but we want to keep it one location uh, okay. to give an option okay. because they'll be allowed in the county to give those because you have to pass your your laws, I guess, uh -huh. to track tra for truck mm -hmm. traffic mm -hmm. to go mm -hmm. to both. So we don't want to put any more strain on the county okay. to try to pass both routes. Understood. You know, so, so you guys will prefer one or the other, just, yes, sir. one or the mm -hmm. other, and that way it'll be less con confusion. Yes. You know, and, right. and the truckers will mm -hmm. know exactly what that is. You know. Okay. Uh, well, good. Okay. So <laughs> I guess we'll have to kind of bring that to you know, to the to the board of commissioners mm -hmm. and, and decide on what that will actually be once we kind of cross that bridge when we kind of get there. Absolutely, so. and, and there's also the, uh, the uh, enforcement uh, element after okay. you establish the route because mm -hmm. the idea being that once you make, uh, you establish formally the route, then truckers 
that veer off of that route and right. they don't have a destination in the area for a delivery right. or a business that's localized in that area, mm -hmm. uh, they would be doing so illegally on the roads right. that are prohibited right. and right. so they could be ticketed. Yeah, and, and, and actually we gotta actually do some other things with um, even once we do approve either or because we've gotta make it now, um, well we gotta do some um, some agreement of some sort that's saying now this could be a truck this will be a truck route for at least two years or something of that mm -hmm. caliber from the board of commissioners perspective mm -hmm. exactly. because right now it's not exactly correct. so they're prohibited so correct correct got it got it okay all righty so we got a little bit more work to do though so uh <laughs> yes, but you guys are okay with after riding both of these <laughs> truck routes uh, alternate detours will be either or would work yes, based sir. on you guys yeah. perspective and and what responsibilities is GDOT going to take in the event of either of these roads where in the end in two years from now and we're guesstimating that's what it's going to take to kind of get under uh the to get the bypass kind of under the tracks uh what kind of responsibilities is, is, is gdot taking ownership of in the event that these roads are torn up from these truckers because this is not normal for these roads yeah. you know and now that once once it's all over are you guys going to come back and and kind of make it you know, make, make it, it whole. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. What we're doing now, we, the lab has already been out and taking okay. samples okay. of what the road is like now. Okay. So we don't. Put, what we do is when we take our lab samples and any stress, or anything that happens, we look at that now. Mm -hmm. So any pipe distress, anything in the side roads or, or driveways right. of nature, mm -hmm. uh, we look at all that. So once we look at that, we say, hey, this is how it was before we even got on this road, Understood. and we will put back exactly like it or better. Got it, <laughs> no, so, so we're not leaving it in a worse shape than what it is. So mm -hmm. we understand that tra tra their roads might not, cannot handle a lot of traffic that's there. Exactly. Uh, we add more traffic. So yeah. we Especially understand trucking. Yeah, it's, and it's about, it's about, yeah, yeah. about trucking. I mean, like, yeah. Let's understand, like, yes. make this clear, it's mm -hmm. about the trucks. Mm -hmm. Cars can take a lot of other yeah, routes. Yeah, 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 you yeah, know, yeah. So it's about the truck traffic. Uh, but yes, we're gonna make it whole again. We will not just uh, let it be, crumbling, so like I said, I say, or go down, mm -hmm. or damaged, and we just leave it there. No, we're going to make sure that it's whole again. Got it, got it. Well, well good. So, mm -hmm. so, so we're, we're, I guess we're in, in the best of both worlds mm -hmm. in this whole makeup. Are there any other crossings that we should expect as a county that will be possibly closing? Uh, I think the, Mo the, the Mosley one was a little shocking to, to most and I think the city officials mm -hmm. and others probably knew, but the citizens was kind of a little bit thrown mm -hmm. off from the mere fact of wanting the, the, the underpath done and then close it versus closing it to do the underpath. Why that direction, why we took that route versus leaving it open until we did the underpath. Is there a method to that madness or, or is there any? Yeah, I, I'll defer to, yeah. to GDOT on the details, but, but essentially it, it had to do with the coordination of the work that the railroad has to right. do. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah, just mind, like, like Miguel just said, yeah, the railroad had a certain amount of time they can close the track. Okay. So if we didn't do it now, okay. we're going to be delayed another eight months. And I okay. know the public did not want to hear that. No, exactly. You know? <laughs> so, exactly. so if we did not close that crossing, mm -hmm. like again, eight mm -hmm. months, redesign mm -hmm. to get that old. So we had to do that now. And okay. I know it's an inconvenience, uh, but yes. y'all don't want to wait another three years to have this, exactly. or add another year yeah, to right, get right. this job done. Right, right. So that's why we had to go ahead. And do so, so Norfolk would wanted to kind of, with them moving the tracks over and I don't get all the, the engineering side of it, you know, I, I just, kind of do TV, I don't, <laughs> I don't gotcha. do engineering. So, but, but with all that being said, that's what kind of uh, had to have that crossing closed yes, to have them do what they need to get done. Mm -hmm. Now, when will they actually start boring underneath uh, the, the tracks and, and doing their well, thing? We're in discussion How's, now, we're okay. try, um, trying to get some, I to move the tracks over because that's the main mm -hmm. situation. Mm -hmm. um, we're getting some samples and stuff and some more drawings, mm -hmm. but as soon as possible. I mean, Got we're it. trying to get that done now. Got it. And what, what is that process? What's that construction like? What is that, that like? I mean, I, you know, I, I, again, I don't understand that side of it, but just the simplicity side of it for our uh, District Dialogue viewers, what is that? If you can explain it in, in the simplest well, form now, you know. <laughs> um, Great kindergarten. Not <laughs> I'm trying to, and that's, and that's just what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to just um, with this grade separation, I mean, yeah, you have like a board, you had like a bridge going over for 78. Uh -huh. um, I guess but we're boring might. underneath the yeah. tracks. So how does what is that process? What is that? I mean, for construction wise, because yeah. uh, it's the first for me as well okay. <laughs> for this project. Um, I'm trying to just well. What, uh, let me chime in. Yeah. One of the things, obviously, we while we're trying to build this new roadway, mm -hmm. 
we are we cannot impede the railroad. Mm -hmm. So Correct. the railroad has That's to the, have the yeah. ability to go through. Right. And so whatever work we need to do, whatever excavation has to go under their right. facility. Right. Uh, the, the tracks need to be uh, reset in such a way that when, mm -hmm. when the excavation begins, right. they're going to be solid and yes. there's not going to be any safety concerns exactly. with the railroad. So, I can see that, yes. So mm -hmm. uh, all of that coordination, all of that work, uh, propping up the existing infrastructure. So that's why they moved the tracks over mm -hmm. to yeah. kind of stabilize that side of it so they can kind of keep doing their thing and getting, mm -hmm. you know, encumbers and goods to and from. While the so rest of the construction, construction. progresses. Right. And then I, I'm assuming they start that boring, that process, and, and again, I don't know what that consists of. I, I kind of see it on TV, but I don't, you know, I, mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't get that side of it. But then that'll be the whole process, I would be That's correct. And mm -hmm. any idea, whatever phase that that phase is, how long would this type of boring possibly take if you had to give it a time frame? Uh, my my expect well certainly they want they want to do that as quickly as possible, yeah. mm -hmm. but it's going to be several months, perhaps yeah. six months, Got it. for months. for that mm -hmm. sec section of work. Because you're drilling, you're trying to stabilize mm -hmm. it, and you're trying to kind of you know. Mm -hmm. And the type of rock that we have over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and we don't know what you're going to. Yeah, yeah, when you start, there's a lot of mm -hmm. granite here in yes. Douglas County. So yeah, mm -hmm. wow, that's that's got to be interesting though. Mm -hmm. That's got to be interesting. So, but again, that that's the process. Mm -hmm. But in in the meanwhile. There, 92 crossing won't be closed, or will there be any other crossings that will be closed during this process? Or we've closed what we're going to close until this until it's done, right. until we're done with all phases? Or yeah, we closed. I think we're done yeah. with, with the closings yeah. until okay. the project is done, or at least until the the great separation mm -hmm. uh, is constructed and it gets opened up to traffic. Got it. Got right. it. So so I know 92 will eventually be closed. We, we understand that, but it won't close no time soon no, mm -hmm. until this project is done somewhere in November 2020, I guess, yeah. give or take. And, and like I said, 2020 is when complete. So Understood. look, I, 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 I want to say look eight months before that, but say 2020. Oh, yeah. got it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. okay. Yeah, so that's, that's when 2020 you know, is we want to be, yeah, we want to yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. be ready by 2020. Okay, you know? okay. So. Understood. Understood. Well, well, it's good because a lot of, a lot of people have been asking kind of, mm -hmm. kind of when, when and, and when is the project done or will be completed? Mm -hmm. And what happens with any other closings? When would that happen? Which you, you kind of said, right. you basically yeah. answered that question. Right. So, okay, okay, well, good. Uh, anything else you want to add that, that concerns, that may be of concern that we may have not asked uh, about this particular project? More about the routes for the truck mm -hmm. routes, the new detours that were in discussions with mm -hmm. the Board of Commissioners and about the Highway 92 bypass. Well, uh, the one thing I would say about the whole uh, process is that that it is a, a a lot of inconvenience to the neighborhoods, but it is a temporary situation. Mm -hmm. Now, temporary being a relative thing. I know. When, when yeah. you talk about a couple of years, that doesn't seem so temporary. But but eventually, mm -hmm. this facility would be such an improvement yes. for north south traffic movement, yes. Yes. trucks and regular traffic. Mm -hmm. uh, as you know. Uh, whenever there's an issue with the with the railroad, uh, you know any kind of delay, uh, just by normal operation, folks on the northern side of of the county mm -hmm. have difficulty getting to I-20, which is the, yeah, exactly. the, the main thoroughfare mm -hmm. through the area. Route 92 mm -hmm. will remedy that mm -hmm. to, to the point where. Uh, it doesn't matter what the schedule of the of mm -hmm. the railroad is; mm -hmm. uh, they'd be able to re have a reliable uh, road mm -hmm. to travel on. Mm -hmm. The expectation is over the years that as the Savannah Port uh, gets improved and there's more traffic, mm -hmm. more goods being moved, mm -hmm. that railroad traffic would increase. Absolutely. And so, while it's bad now, mm -hmm. it would have been much worse in the future right. with the additional rail traffic on right. those tracks right. and this facility would provide that relief that the county needed. Understood, understood. So so that truck trafficking and pedestrian traffic will definitely be able to breeze through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, it'll, so And it'd be also like a great improvement just to uh, piggyback on what Miguel was saying, like saying and, and it's been a lot of coordination between the railroad 
the county, yes. and GDOT, and C.W. Matthews, who's the contractor. Got it. Um, so we, we've been working diligently to try to get this stuff. And the city. Complete. And the city. And, exactly. the city. and the city. City and, and the, the city. county. You yes, right about yes, that. Yes. So we, we, just, we just appreciate what's been going on and working with each other. And like I said, it, it could have been pushed out a whole lot further if we didn't work together. Got it. So we, we, we're moving along pretty good. Well, the good part is this project, I think it's been needed. I mean, yes, many sir. years ago, and mm -hmm. definitely with Savannah widening and everything else, mm -hmm. with that uh, that commerce starting to come, you know, through Douglas County, yes, uh, and with the Paulding County traffic passing through Douglas County mm -hmm. to get Correct. to 20, so it, it's going to be a win-win for all of us. Exactly. So, uh, I think it's a it's a wonderful thing that, to, to have a, a great situation to have. So th this two-year process of hopefully. Um, tunneling under, and I'm calling it two years, don't know it'll be two years or, or six months, I'm not sure. Right. Uh, that's that's the rough estimate of where we would be with this particular project. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Anything else we wanna wanna add about about this particular project that you guys, you know, I mean, we, we went through the construction and we've talked about the truck routes, we've talked about the Highway 92 bypass. Uh, I, I got one other question. Mm -hmm. What about, at one time or another, this Highway 92 bypass was going to have a, a bridge crossing down at, at Brown Street where the, the uh, park was at one time or another. Somehow it got not either removed from it, but it got altered to the degree of how would the, the citizens of Douglasville in the city where the park is, Jesse Davis Park, cross this four, eight lane type trafficking? What are we, what are we anticipating in that particular area when it comes to crossing down in that, where that community kind of, where that, cut this bypass goes straight through that particular community on Brown Street. Is there still any makeup of what that will look like to cross from one side of Brown Street to the other side, which will get you to Colquitt and mm -hmm. others? Uh, any, any plans on that, or what that looks like, or, or any ideas of what that looks like here in the future? I would defer to, to GDOT in terms of the design options, mm -hmm. but because uh, I don't have a good history on how that played out. That right, was, right. That yes. was well, I think it was a, one time or another, it was said to be a bridge. Mm -hmm. And then somehow, and that's, I mean, that's more of a city question, and I don't have the exact answer to it, but it, it ended up saying that the bridge wasn't, couldn't work out just based on the mere fact of the makeup of a, like, what would a floating bridge kind of pop out of, <laughs> you know, in, into that yeah. whole makeup. However, they talked about some from technology. They'll have some kind of crossing from this degree of lights or stop lights or something to kind of get these guys across using the park as a hypothetical of crossing. Gotcha. And, and I'm researching that. Like I said, I took over this job two years ago as okay. area manager, so I did get some of that information. Okay. And it. I'm looking at that to see what. Okay. Um, to see what, what that see what we're gonna like. do with that. Yeah. What it looks like. So Cause I, I can I, get you that. When I take a look at uh, Terra Boulevard as a hypothetical, you know, <laughs> with all the traffic going down Terra Boulevard. And looking at that crossing and how these how those guys get across from one side to the other, that's that's about an eight lane. Yeah, know, we up. yeah you can have hybrid beacons and stuff of that nature. Yes. We are improving actually. We got a project that's going coming on Terra Boulevard. We adding a lane actually. Got it. <laughs> so, okay. Gotcha. So we're in process of doing that. So yes, that has been looked at. We got hybrid beacons and and the way the system or the signalized signal uh, sections are are constructed now yet to get across eight lanes. I mean, right. That's a lot of time for yes. somebody to walk across. Yes. So we are looking at that mm -hmm. and making sure that a person may be in a wheelchair right. or an elderly person can get across eight lanes. And so we're looking at all that and gotcha. get them time to do that. So, so I'm assuming that you guys are looking at what that would look like here at Brown Street and yes. the park for those kids and or seniors and or whomever yes, that's kind of crossing from one point to the other yes, sir. Uh, with the amount of lanes and traffic that we'll have coming. So, and again, yes, I don't know what that looks like or what that is, but at least you guys are, oh, yes, sir. are paying mm -hmm. attention to that. Mm -hmm. So, because I know the city had asked, you know, LaShawn, mm -hmm. the council member there, I said, ask them this question, yeah. you know, so don't mean to throw you guys <laughs> no a, a curveball. That's but, no you know. problem. Yeah, that's traffic operation question, but yeah, we'll still be involved in that. Okay. No okay, problem. okay. Well, mm -hmm. outside of that, um, wow. I mean, I'd like to just say thank you guys for, um, you know, sitting and having a quick conversation with me on District Dialogue. I mean, thank you. well enlightening and, and hopefully I think our viewers understand what the expectation is, what kind of that, that not the drop dead date, but what we're working toward. Yes, sir. And, mm -hmm. and we understand. I, and, and let's be realistic. It's, it's based on weather. It's based on a whole lot of the mm -hmm. factors. Mm -hmm. I mean, we start digging into that. Granted, it may be that you need another six, eight months 
because it it is what it is. Right. Yeah, and, and, and I hope not. Like I said, we did our <laughs> testing and coring, so okay, hopefully okay. we should be okay with that. So. Yeah, but that boring and, and, that, and, the, and rock is rock. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and and that's you true. just got to deal with it when you mm -hmm. kind of get in there and start digging, that's and then true. you'll you'll figure out the rest of it. So. That's true. But that's but at the end of the day, mm -hmm. thank you guys. Um, thank you and for any any closing remarks that you guys would like to share to say? I mean. First of all, I just want to say thank you guys for being on District Dialogue, mm -hmm. and thank you for all the hard work you guys have put into this particular project. I know Miguel, this is kind of you're you're coming in on the on the tail end, but but you got the best end to come in on, and and I know you have spent 15 years with it, so <laughs> you you understand it more than probably yeah. any of us. So um, any any closing remarks that you guys would like to add, if there's anything that we might have missed that you might want to share with those Douglas Countyans about this particular project, I, I would just say that. To, to the general public, mm -hmm. uh, thank you for your patience because mm -hmm. obviously there's a lot of inconvenience that goes with this type of construction. But uh, I assure you that when the project is completed, it's going to be so much better. Uh, you know, sometime down the line, you may not even remember all the hard <laughs> that you've gone through. It. I always yeah. said I want to make sure that I get a chance to see this this come to fruition. Now remember, I said we started this thing this tr this trip to Washington mm -hmm. in early 2000. Okay. So here we are in 2018 now. So it's been a long time coming. Now, keep in mind, we went down there in early 2000. They've mm -hmm. been trying to get a project like this here done, mm -hmm. I'm going to say, at least 20, 30 years before my time. Gotcha. So you can imagine how long we've been trying to get across the tracks, even when the train coming. So mm -hmm. great. Any yeah. other closing remarks you like that? Oh, my end, like I said, uh, we just, for GDOT, mm -hmm. for working with the CD and the county, mm -hmm. working with uh, Norfolk Southern, mm -hmm. working with uh, CW uh, Matthews, the contractor. Uh, if the public, like I said, I hope the public just be patient with us. Mm -hmm. uh, we're trying to get through quick as possible, but in a safe manner as well for the traveling public, for the contractor, for my GDOT mm -hmm. personnel. Um, our, again, our field trade is located right there behind the uh, Walgreens. So if anybody yes, wants to go yes. and, and look, mm -hmm. at the, look at the plans, they mm -hmm. can. You know, mm -hmm. if they got any concerns, I have a project manager. Her name is Tynese Cameron. Mm -hmm. She's the project manager out here. Um, I'm her supervisor, but they're welcome, they welcome to call me as well. Got if you it. need anything got from me, if we get any questions, ask them that we can. Is there a number that you guys will be okay to share with? You know, off the top of your head. <laughs> I, I, listen, I got. To, I, I look at a number in the face and I just hit dial. I don't know the numbers, but if you do, you want to share that? Well, with I, I, could, I, look, I, I don't mind sharing my, my cell number. That's all, because I got a GDOT cell. I don't mind anybody okay. calling me. And my, my number is 706 741 3541. You're more than welcome to call me. I can direct you to the right people you need to Good. call. But if you need to talk to me, I'll come to my office. I'm located in um in our College Park, Red Dog Roosevelt Highway. Mm -hmm. But I do drive over here to yes. check on this project. So got it. Uh, but at any time, just call me. You got it. Thank you again. And, and Miguel, I know they might want to reach out to you. Is there, is there a particular number outside? I mean, I, they can call here at the county and they can come right this walk down here and kind of visit with you though. But is there any? I'm Wait. sure there is a number that they should call. <laughs> I just don't remember it right now, but, uh, but they can look up on, the, on our website. Yes. Uh, the, the number for transportation and they can reach me. Got it, got it. Okay, well guys, again, thank you. And I truly appreciate you guys taking your time out of your busy schedule to kind of share with the viewers of District Dialogue about this project, the Highway 92 uh, uh, bypass to include the, the new possible truck routes right. and you know by the time we start viewing this we will probably have made a decision <laughs> on that particular so. <laughs> route so we can kind of mm -hmm. keep this project moving forward i'm glad to note that we're looking at somewhere in 2020 that we yes, should sir. be somewhere done the latter part of 2020 that's yes, a sir. good uh idea and a good goal to be looking toward and hopefully mm -hmm. it'll be sooner yes. we won't, we, won't so. we won't complain <laughs> if it's sooner and again to those that are viewing thank you for taking your time out of your busy schedule to take part in this district dialogue conversation and be patient as we've stated, this project, once it's all said and done, it's going to be a huge benefit to the Douglas Countyans. So right. stay tuned, stay patient, understand that this project, it, it, will, be, it, it will get done. Yes, sir. Uh, hopefully there won't be any you know, delays for any matter, but we, we don't know some things that, that's, not, that's out of our control. Correct. So mm -hmm. those things we can't, we'll have to deal with. But however, thank you again for being a part of District Dialogue. My name is Commissioner Mitchell, and thank you to my guests, and you guys have a great and wonderful day. Thank you again.